Hey there, Chris coming to you with another video trail tour. Today we're going to be doing the newish uh, Briar Mountain Trail. Um, trails, it's trail number 47 on the Ultimate Deep Creek Lake Adventure Map or Garrett County Adventure Map. And you can see this one's kind of a, an orangish, reddish one on here. It's that loop right there. Um, and we're going to do it on bikes today. So we're going to check that out. Try out this new loop part of Garrett State Forest, directly north of Harrington Manor State Park. So they kind of share, you know, some trail access. And the way we get onto this trail is we'll go right across the road here and get onto the trail there. Okay, we just crossed the road. And we want to go to the right here. We want to stay on the snowmobile trail instead of going towards Harrington Manor here. So we're going to go to the right and go this way. Okay, we're on, uh, I think still maybe the snowmobile trail. And you can see it's kind of just down the single track, but it's a nice wide trail to accommodate the snowmobiles. And periodically we've got the little trail post markers up here. So we're gonna try and follow the orange trail when we get to it and go in a clockwise direction. Okay, we're kind of at the branch off here of this, the actual bike trail from the snowmobile trail. So ahead of us, is the snowmobile trail, the green trail, and to the left is the orange mountain bike trail. So we're gonna go that way, follow this loop around here, and up and around. So we're a little further along in the orange mountain bike section, and it has been very nice, pleasant little uh, part of the trail, and a little bridge here, so we're just going to keep going, and but it seems like this is kind of the intensity. It hasn't been any super big hills or anything crazy, just maybe some kind of rocky parts of the trail where you got to watch your pedals, but otherwise pretty smooth and definitely moderate uh, level of biking. We are here, and we just finished that nice little stretch there, and we're going to go straight across this intersection and continue on the orange trail there. Okay, we are right about here. Well, we're exactly right there at that intersection of the snowmobile trail and the orange trail. It continues on straight and uh, right beyond the gate there is the Snaggy Mountain Road that you can access. Um, so you could park there if you want to park there and use this as a trailhead. Um, also a great little camping uh, Adirondack shelter type there. There's a lot of really nice campsites along Snaggy Mountain Road. It's part of the Garrett State Forest. So just in case you're wanting to enjoy an alcoholic beverage while you're camping, you typically can in state forests, but state parks, typically, if you're camping, you can't. So just a word to the wise there. But we're going to continue on straight here on the Orange Trail. So really didn't do any video in this whole stretch, but as I think Lisa, would you say delightful? Lovely. Lovely. It was a lovely track right along there that, um, Looks like that. was very doable. Yeah, a lot of ferns, greenery nothing too intense and a very nice stretch of trail so we're gonna keep it going we are at kind of a orange on orange intersection right here so if you go back to the left that just takes you back to the road but kind of at this from this real sharp turn to this point was just a very fun stretch of uh, very little pedaling downhill you know kind of uh, uh, humps and loop rollers and hills uh, that were really fun to go down 
Looks like a little bit more of the same coming up here too. Okay, we just came down from there and we're back on the snowmobile trail. So I just print off what I did real quick, kind of cuts it off. But that's where we'll that's where we are right now. And we're just gonna keep going um, out there and that'll get out to the road and where we parked. And uh, this stretch right here was, yeah, there were several, you know, really uh, tight switchbacks here, um, but you, you know, take it slow and they weren't a problem at all. Some kind of rocky, rough sections where it got wet along in here too. But for the most part, like I said, this, you know, right, right up here that starting at that bend, all much of this is just a uh, downhill kind of up and down the little um, humps and valleys and a very nice, delightful little ride on that stretch as well. So we're gonna finish up and uh, we'll do the wrap up at the end. Okay, and we are back. And this little printout version kind of cut the road off, but we just crossed the road right over there and come over here to the parking area and you can get to other trail. You can get to the 5.5 uh, mile trail and the snowmobile trail goes that way across the road up to Swallow Falls. But we did along, we did the orange trail today. So we did this orange loop all around and up and back down those switchbacks and back to here. And according to Lisa's much more accurate tracker that was just around five miles and it was a very pleasant what was your word again lovely, lovely trail uh in the you know kind and of flat fun. and fun um so the flat sections were nice fern green pieces and then the, the downhills were very uh fun <laughs> rollers um some turns and even in our wildly unsuitable bikes, I mean, Lisa's is even more uh, unsuited. Mine's got at least some fatter tires and tread. We did fine on there. Um, and I am not a very comfortable biker. Lisa is a super biker. But I don't particularly enjoy biking most of the time, but I very much enjoy this trail. Highly recommend it. Um, you know, if you don't need to have a super off-road mountain bike. Um, you don't need to be ready for some intense hill climbs and, and downhills. Just have some moderate mountain biking skills, um, some off-road trail biking, and you should be fine. So until our next adventure, Deke would like to see you out on the trails.